Yeah, Gary Smith from the Florida Times Union. Uh, Scotty, there aren't very many, if there are no six, nine point guards in the SEC. As a matter of fact, a lot of them tend to run your size or smaller. Uh, we talk about the challenges you're going to have in the times you're man to man against Kyle Anderson. Uh, yes, it's going to be tough. He's definitely a unique cover. Um, the Harrison twins and Jordan Clarkson were the the the, uh, the two tallest guards that we faced this year. Um, we're just going to try to have to keep him out of the lane, uh, not let him get a step because he's obviously has great length, and so if he gets a step on you, he can finish over and around you. So we just have to build walls, help each other, and, and try to keep him out of the lane. Other questions for the Florida student athletes. Please raise your hand. Second row, left side. Therese Walker, the Associated Press. Uh, for Will or, or, or Scotty, talk about helping each other. They pass the ball a lot, and, and Anderson's really good at, at sharing the ball. How much does that increase the pressure of trying to you know, have good defense on these guys? Will. I mean, we, like Scotty said, we understand their size, and we know they pass the ball really well, so I think we're going to have to make sure we, we use our hands on defense help each other a lot, even more than we've done before, because we, we know that they don't really uh, turn the ball over. And uh, with the size, they're, they're going to be able to just pass the ball over us. So I think that, you know, as a team, we got to understand that this is a different team, a different size, and we just have to do more and do uh, and be better. Scotty, any thoughts on that? Uh, just like what he said, we just, if we if we do help each other and if we, if we end up having two on the ball, whether it's a post trap or pick and roll, our back line defense is going to have to be really alert because they do a good job of cutting and having secondary actions. And like Will said, they're they're tall, so even out of a double team, they can see out and and make the pass that they want. So we have to be ready to uh, run to the, run to the open man. Other questions for Will or Scotty? Back to the fourth row, center of the room. Gary Smith again. Uh, Scott, uh, Coach Donovan and Coach Alford both were in a Final Four at the same time, didn't get a chance to play each other. I'm wondering, knowing that Coach Donovan was a, uh, a very good player in the Big East, a, a, a name conference, and was on a big stage in his playing career, has that translated into being able to help you in these situations in, in NCAA tournaments, his experience? Uh, well, he definitely has a lot of experience, and he knows what it takes uh, to get it done. Um, I'd say his experience from a coaching standpoint, being here uh, in 2006 and 2007, um, and uh, with, with us, we, we've been here the last three years, just that's, that's what helps me the most, him just being able to coach me and and direct me and uh, correct me if I'm doing wrong. And that, that's really where he's helped me the most. Other questions for the Florida student athletes? Second row. This again, AP. Uh, for either you, uh, Scotty or Will, they have so much on offense. They score over 81 points a game. When you see that with the defense that you all played this season, does that, you know, what do you start thinking? Do you look at them and start trying to figure out how to break them down? And, and how much do you want to try to hold them you know, under their scoring average? And, and does it kind of get the juices going? You want to see you know, how well you can stop that offense? Will? Uh, I believe I mean, it's going to be a challenge for us because obviously it's a really good offensive team. But we, we know that we are a really good defensive team as well. And it's just going to be a battle. Uh, we're going to stick to our principle and just play the way we've been playing. And uh, just going to have to limit them because we know they're going to score tough shots. And we're just going to be able to move on, just keep keep on playing. Just take one position at a time and just do the best we can do in one possession. And I think uh, we'll be fine. Scotty? Yeah, uh, they're a great offensive team. We're a, we're a good defensive team. And so I think those styles are going to clash a little bit in the game. and. Whoever, whoever style of play wins out will be the team that wins the game. And so it's just we're, it's not going to be no different from every, every other game. We're going to play defense, but we're also going to have to play offense. Uh, they're going to play offense, but they're also going to have to play defense. So it's just going to be a battle. Other questions for Florida? Move to the fifth row. We'll get a mic to you. 
Ryan Carchi, Orange County Redshirt. Scotty, sorry if you were asked about this already, but what do you remember from that 2011 game when you guys faced UCLA? I know, I think it was you had the inbounds pass at, near the end when you guys hit a three. Uh, what do you remember about either that that uh, time or about that game in general? Um, I remember that Irv made a pretty tough shot over one of their big men, and he got knocked down to the floor, and it was an and one. But that's that's about it. I don't I don't I don't think any of their players fr from that team are still on the team, so I I don't I don't think that game is going to have much of an impact on this game. Go ahead if if, if you have a quick follow up yeah, and uh, then go ahead. Do you think you know the fact that? Florida has knocked UCLA out three times in the last eight years. Do you think that kind of history matters at all? I, I know you guys were at least, some of you were at least on that team in 2011. No, honestly, I don't think that matters at all. It's not going to have any impact on the game. Switch to the right side, fourth row. Uh, Don Wade, Memphis Daily News. Scotty, in terms of you guys being a good defensive team, how much of that is – you know, holding to all of your defensive principles and everybody being in the right place at the right time, and how much of it is just want to? Uh, I think it's both of those things equally. Without the other, um, without one or the other, you can't have a good defense. So it's it has to do with our will, but it also has to do with the principles and sticking to those principles and all five guys doing their job because if one guy doesn't do their job, then, then the whole defensive possession breaks down and... and the other team can get an easy bucket.